Good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss regarding the another topic of vector analysis. Okay. In the previous class, we discussed regarding partial differentiation. Okay. Del operator. Okay. What is del operator? Del operator. Gradient of scalar field. Divergence of vector field. Is it? So, what we have? Scalar quantity, vector quantity, scalar field, vector field. Okay, in the previous class we discussed regarding this. Okay, then after del operator, del bar, del bar is nothing but one. I go by two by x. Okay, plus j go by two by. Okay, plus k go by two j. And gradient of scalar field, del bar is I go by two by two by x. Is that it? Do is by two by. Okay, k go by two by two j. Del bar is divergence of vector field. Del bar and del bar, two a x by two a x plus two a by two a by two pi plus two a j by two j, isn't it? So already in the last class we discussed regarding these things: del operator, gradient of scalar field, and divergence of vector field. Okay, just I am recalling those things. Okay, so here in this class we are going to discuss regarding the next topic that is. Integration, line integral, surface integral, and volume integral. Simple. Just see. First of all, we will see the line integral. What is line integration? Simply, the integration, the integration along the curve is nothing but what line integration. The integration along the curve. If you take integral, integrating this. What is mean by integration? Adding, adding the elements. Differentiation is nothing but what dividing. Okay, integration is nothing but what summation, summing, adding, integrating is nothing but okay. Differentiation is nothing but what dividing. Here we are integrating is nothing but what we are summing the things. Okay, so here the integration along the curve, the integration along the curve is nothing but what line integral. Okay, how can we represent it? It is mathematical. Mathematical how can we represent? See, let us consider. A P Q equal to P Q in the diagram. If you observe, we are taking a curve P Q. Okay, we are taking a curve P Q. In this, we are taking a small element D L. We are taking a small element D L. Okay, it is this curve is in a vector field A bar. This curve is in a vector field A bar. Already we know that what is vector field. Okay, if R if the uh, field is what Uh, the field is dominated by a vector. Is nothing but what vector? Field. Already clear cut definition. Already we saw in the previous classes. Okay, every inch and every point represents the vector quantity in the field. Then the field is nothing but what vector field. Okay, here we are taking a vector field. In the vector field, we are taking a uh, curve. Okay, the vector field is represented by y bar. Now. Let us consider the direction of vector field A bar like this. In entire field is a vector field A bar. We are taking the direction of vector like this, a vector field A bar. Now the small element direction and the vector A bar making some angle theta here, making some angle theta. Now the the what we can say the line integral. About the small element d l, only for small element d l, the line integral for the small element d l is represented by a dot d l, which is equal to a d l cos theta by theta is the angle between a dot d d l, a and d l. Okay, right? What is line integration? Simple. See, we are taking one already discussed flux definition. What is flux? It is simply the surface area into vector. Product of dot product of surface area into vector is nothing but what flux. Okay, line integration is here also line integration. The small element d l, the product of dot product of a bar times small element d l, which gives what a bar plus d l gives what line integration per small element d l. Okay, a bar dot d l, which is equal to a d l cos theta, which is equal to a d l cos theta. Now the line integration from P to Q. The line integration from P to Q for the entire curve. For entire curve, it is given by P to Q a 
Demand.dl, which is equal to P to Q, ADL cos theta. Simple. Okay? Simple. From, from line, from entire term, from P to Q, because all element here, it is A.dl. If you have all the elements, all the small elements, I, I already previously said, but by adding all the small elements of the curve, okay, you will get what the entire integration line integration from P to Q that is integration P to Q A bar dot DL, which is called integration P to Q A DL cos theta. This is line integration. So simply mathematically the line integral of a curve is integrated by P to Q A bar dot DL or integration P to Q A DL cos theta. Okay, A DL cos theta. Similarly, if you take surface integral, surface integral, I just now said, what is flux? Okay, the small element ds, the product of small element and the vector, a bar dot ds is nothing but not flux. For entire, for entire surface, the total flux is given by surface integral a bar dot ds. Okay, so let us consider surface integral. Surface integral, let us consider surface here, represented by s. In that we are taking small element ds, small element ds, okay. Now, it's normal, it's a vector, the small, the surface area ds is dependent by vector ds bar, okay. The entire vector, normal vector, and a bar is the vector field, a bar is the vector field. Now, the angle between ds bar and a bar is given by theta. The angle between ds bar and a bar is given by theta. Now, the line integral. Now, a bar dot ds bar is equal to a bar dot here. We are seeing see, the surface, the surface area ds and c ds. ds can be represented by the vector ds bar which is equal to ds n cap. ds n cap. Okay. Already the any vector can be represented by a bar is equal to any vector is represented by what? Vector a bar is equal to a n cap. Okay, a n cap like that. Okay, here also ds bar is represented by ds n cap. ds n cap. Okay, so ds bar is equal to ds n cap. Now, now the surface is equal. Here a bar dot ds is represented by a dot n ds. Already is now ds n cap. What is surface integral? A bar dot ds bar. Simple. For small element ds, the what is surface integral? A bar dot ds bar. For small elements, positive to the small element ds. Now, for entire surface, it is given by what? Surface integral. We are seeing for surface integral, we are using double integration. Double integration. Surface integral, double integration. Line integral, single integration. Okay? Surface integral is given by double integration. And close the curve. We are getting close the curve. So close the symbol. Okay. So a bar dot ds bar is equal to integration a ds cos theta. A ds cos theta. Like that, we will use. So integration. So integration a bar dot ds bar is equal to surface integral a ds cos theta. So simply surface integral is nothing but what? Double integration a bar dot ds bar. Okay, a bar dot ds bar. Or a ds cos theta. Integration a ds cos theta and theta theta. And it will be a bar and ds bar. Okay, now next we have next we have volume integral. Volume integral is simply here we will use triple integration. Volume integral will be triple lines. If a bar is a vector in a surface, okay, let us consider a smooth surface which is occupied by volume B. Okay, volume B. If you take a small element dv, okay, now the volume here is in the surface, is in a vector field a bar. Now the volume integral is given by what? Volume integral of a bar dv. Volume integral is given by simply triple line integrals. So at last, at last, 
लाइन इंटीग्रल लाइन इंटीग्रल इज ये इंटीग्रल ये नाम बन गया ये इंटीग्रल कॉस थीटा लाइन इंटीग्रल सरफेस इंटीग्रल ये बार डॉट डीएस बार व्हिच इज इक्वल टू सरफेस इंटीग्रल ये डीएस कॉस थीटा नाउ वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल ये बार डीवी दैट्स इट ये डॉट प्रोडक्ट there is no dot product for what volume integral okay so this is what line integral surface integral line volume integrals okay here the significance of line integral see in place of a bar in place of a bar we will take force f bar we know that f bar d dot d is the unit of mass of the material That is what the line integral. If any part is moving from point P to Q, the physical significance of line integral from point P to Q. If any particle is moving, now how much work is done by that particle? It is given by y bar dot d l. For total work done, line integral from P to Q y bar dot d l. Instead of y bar, instead of y bar, if it is force y bar, then The total line integral from P to Q is equal to what? Given by the partial and dependent. Okay, this is what line integral. Surface integral will be used by what? Flux. Flux. The physical integral is what? A bar dot d s. We will use what? Flux passing through the small area d s. Okay, and similar volume integral. So these are what? Line integral, surface integral, volume integral. In the next class, we will see. Okay. Okay. Next class, we will see the curve. Okay, the curve and.